It's hard to make somebody run a lap. It's hard to make somebody donate money when they don't have a lot of money because we're young and we can barely afford to, you know, go out and buy a beer at, at the bar on a Friday. So, you know, how do you combine the two together and then make it all happen? So you empower people. And so I've had the opportunity to be empowered through, you know, through my journey along the way and working with grassroots soccer and positive tracks where not only are, are we given the opportunity to finish a race, for example, where there's a finish line and you're empowered to get to the end of it and then at the end, no one can take it away. But when you do it for a cause, you're empowering a young person to make a difference. And when you can combine the two, it's incredible. And when you can double it, positive tracks, it's even more important. Just because of the way that I grew up, it was something that was kind of instilled for me as a young, uh, from a young age, uh, from my parents, that that was an important part of being um, a good person is giving back. Uh, but I think the first time that I really had a personal connection with it was um, when I was el in elementary school and I lost someone very important to me to cancer. And it kind of hit me how um, things like that affect everyone and I didn't want to sit back and do nothing anymore. So. That's what really inspired me. As a sophomore and freshman, I could really see what it meant to the school and what it meant to the surrounding community and how it affected others. Um, so through seeing, seeing it through others, you develop a per personal connection, um, which for me was the most important part. You did cycling, and I went to one of his races and I saw how fun it was, and then I started doing it, and then I learned about the Hole in the Wall game camp, and <coughs> I saw that they had a cycling program, so I started helping them with that, and that just helped me a lot with cycling and helping the Hole in the Wall camp at the same time. So many other organizations have utilized the positive tracks, grant doubling, to really boost their fundraising, and. It's sometimes hard when you're on campus and you don't have that many people to reach out to and you feel like it's just your friends giving like five dollars here and there, but when you can realize that it's being doubled, it just really pumps the whole thing up. But it's also about being inclusive in those activities. So I think one way that we've been able to, I, like my organization at school, we've been able to bring more people in and also keep people is by saying like, you can walk this, you can run the 10 mile, like the 10K. You have, you, that, that is your choice. Specifically, the Dempsey Challenge happens in one weekend, and what we're doing, oh, oh, we're still doing this, is that essentially as soon as it's over, we start fundraising, you know, for the whole year. And to see the weekend or the day right before, you know, the challenge is coming, to see how much money you've made is exciting. And to think that you and, you know, a group of your friends did this, and then to find out that that's going to be matched is just mind-blowing. And then also, it kind of gives you leverage to pull more people in and saying, this is what we're doing and dollar for dollar it's getting matched, you know, that's amazing to think and so more people um, will feel proud and will feel encouraged because they know that one dollar is going to turn into two dollars and you know so on and so forth. Dollar doubling is especially effective when you also freeze it as doubling your impact. So let's say you know a hundred dollars is going to help one person, you can say your hundred dollars is actually going to help two people instead of one person. So you start to, to quantify things outside of the money piece and then it, it detaches people from their wallet and puts it more into them making twice the difference. Uh, and so there's really no other way to do it besides working with someone you know who's doing what Positive Tracks does. And it also gives you a lot more credibility when you're going around to different people, different uh, organizations asking for money. When they realize that some entire organization is going to match what they're giving, they're, they kind of think, well, this really must be a great cause. You know, I'm going to get behind this as well. It just gives you that, more of that credibility. Positive Tracks, I just thought of is, uh, whenever I write a paper and a teacher says write a five-page paper, I always write it in single space. 
uh, because then it, you get to two and a half pages and you're like, man, I just put all that time into it. <laughs> and what you do, you highlight the whole thing and you just hit double space. Just like that, you have five pages, and that's kind of what positive tracks do. <laughs> and so, just like, so just like that, uh, it's kind of like positive tracks is able to just kind of like give you that double space ability. It's like a click of a button, and all of a sudden you're that much more. So I think giving um, everyone the chance to create you know their part of the team and and giving and giving themselves the job you know someone really someone might really really like handling the money and really handling um, calling the people you know let them do that give everybody a special place because then they will feel like they're a part of the whole the whole cycle it makes me realize I'm making a difference it didn't matter how young I was I don't have to be older to make a difference it made me know that in my community I can go out there and make a difference and raise money and be able to donate it. So that keeps me just motivated to go back. All the all you organizations out there that are worried about how to, you know, get in touch with younger people, just let them know what you want to accomplish and ask them how they can help you do it. Stop telling people how to do it and ask them how you can do it. Because I hated running when people told me I needed to run and I only liked it when I decided I wanted to run. I've been really inspired today by everything, but I am looking at 13 superstars of inspiration. You all are amazing people. Believe it. Keep doing what you're doing. You are hope for our future. And I want to do some an old-fashioned, old-school standing ovation to all 13. <laughs>